We all know the wars around us today in this day and age. Um, we got troops still being deployed to Afghanistan and Iraq, and we all know the current conflicts going on in Libya and rough tensions between North and South Korea. It's no surprise that a third war front might be on its way. Now, I want to paint a picture for you before I talk about my speech. Um, gentlemen, imagine supplies to you ladies, a brother. Um, you're sitting at home, winter break, you're watching a nice family TV show, maybe The Office or whatever, um, and the draft comes on. And it, it was a lottery system, and you're watching, and it's a lottery system that goes on, and they pull out a date, and it happens to be your brother's birthday or your birthday, and then they pull out his first letter of his first name, and you find out your brother's going to war. This is a sad, but it was a very real picture at one point in time. It could be a very real picture in the future. I speak about why the draft should not be reinstated. The draft should not be reinstated because it's morally wrong, the draft is a forced occupation, and the draft brings down military standards. The draft is morally wrong. The draft is morally wrong because it forces a man to put himself in harm's way against his will or take the life of another individual against his will. This, according to the Future of Freedom Foundation, um, a writer, Anthony Gregory, and the Future Freedom Foundation takes a look at issues and standpoints today going on in today's age, and takes a look at it from a moral aspect. And Anthony Gregory <coughs> says, forcing a man to go off and fight when he is not wanting to is morally wrong and is against the values this country was founded on. Putting a man in harm's way against his will is morally wrong. Now, according to History.com, History Channel, TV, or website, two-thirds of the men who fought in World War II were drafted. 30% of the men drafted were killed in action. So that just leads you a little bit of statistic of how serious this issue is. I'll explain to you why the draft is morally wrong. The draft is also a forced occupation. The draft is a forced occupation. Is once you get called up and called to serve, you're forced to go off and take a job that you do, know of, do not want. The draft is along the lines of slavery. Now I quote again Anthony Gregory from the Future Foundation, Future Freedom Foundation. Forcing a man to go take up a career, although he is paid, is against the beliefs this country is founded on. We, you know, got rid of slavery, and we have the right for every man to do a job that he wants to do. So forcing a man to go off to a distant land and do an occupation he does not want is along the lines of slavery. Also, for my second point, uh, according to MilitarySpot.com and um, just common law, when you turn 18 as a male, you're uh, required by law to go and sign up for the Selective Service System, which is a draft that is being currently put on the, under wraps, and it's every person has to do it, and it's illegal if you don't do it. You're not signing up for military service, but they're doing this so if a draft were to happen, they'd be ready to go. And if you don't do it, you're, it's illegal, and you can be thrown in jail for it. That is why the draft is a forced occupation. My third point is, the draft brings down military standards. The standards and appearance of the military is very strict discipline and uh, is upheld to a high priority. If you get someone who comes in and does not want to be there and just doesn't take it seriously, it makes the military look weak and it puts the public kind of nervous in a situation. Paul Russian, who wrote an article called Statistics of the Draft, said, when you bring in the riffraff of the group, you're going to get people who don't want to be there and don't take it seriously. So you need to make sure that you bring in people who are going to keep the standards and keep it high and keep the people feeling that they're safe. Now, he also said, when you bring in mass amounts of people in the military, the military has high physical standards that you want. When you bring in people who can't always keep to those standards and keep to a high physical priority need, the draft dropped by about, the military standards by about 15% physically. So it just kind of gives you an idea of just what goes on. That's why the draft brings down military standards. Now I want to paint a picture with you for my speech too, for the end of my speech. Um, imagine who would you want out there fighting and keeping it safe? Are you going to want someone who can't even do a push-up or can't run and put other in harm's will and I may put the mission at risk? Or are you going to want someone who takes it seriously and is physically fit and ready to go? That is why the draft should not be reinstated. The draft should not be reinstated because it's morally wrong. The draft is a forced occupation and the draft brings out military standards. Mm -hmm.